How about another joke, Ray? <sighs> what do you get when you cross a mentally ill donor with a society that is begging him and treats him like trash? I'll man. tell you what you get. The police. Get what you f***ing deserve. <laughs> Alrighty, folks, we are back. And my producers have been given permission by me to torture me once again for your viewing pleasure. They are going to show me a bunch of TikTok videos. I'm going to react to said TikTok videos. It never ends this sh I'm prepared to be depressed, anxious. I should see my doctor if this maintains for multiple hours afterward. This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. It keeps happening! I just hung out with my friends all day and I'm drunk as f but why can't people just be cool? Like if someone goes, oh, I go by they, them pronouns. Why can't you just be Gucci? Why does it always, why, why does it always have to be some shit? Hi, I go by he, him, she, her, they, them, whatever the f oh, I, oh, I ain't gonna call you that. Why? Why can't you just chill? Why can't you just be Gucci? <laughs> why can't you, why can't you just, oh, okay. Why? What does it take? What? What the f does it take out of you? Nothing. Hi, my name is Rachel. I go by he, him. Oh, I have a problem with that. Shut the f up. Why, why, no, why? Is it affecting you? Why, why, oh, f oh my God. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Is it affecting you? Why, why can't you call Rachel he, him? Like, like, why, like, why you acting like it costs money? It's free to be cool. It's free to be decent. You just have, oh, oh, Rachel wants to be he, him. Okay, hi, Rachel. Hi. Okay, bro. Why are you embarrassing your lineage? F Honestly, the least damaging moment of this video is when this person throws out the back and starts screaming in pain. That's actually the, the most healthy moment of this video. It's like the Joker from Dark Knight doing the selfie with fake Batman. Like, what is going on? From just a cinematic angle, how about like a little bit of stability with the camera? Oh, I, oh, I ain't gonna call you that. What? Like Blair Witch Project wasn't cool when it first came out. Everybody got motion sickness just from like, you can't watch that without needing to physically vomit because the camera is so unstable. But, but forget the camera work. Nothing says, if you give me what I want, I will be healthy. Quite like a person screaming at you while falling over and crying repeatedly that if you don't, then they will act like this. This is the first rule of parenting. With children, when they start screaming and crying about a thing, you don't negotiate with the terrorists. Now watch this drive. You're gonna have to make a rational case for why I should do the thing that you want me to do. That rational case does not include you screaming like a banshee, falling over, crying, bumping into walls, and crying some more. Nope. So I recently told my parents that I may be a little bit romantically interested in women. And that was a big shock for them considering the past 10 years of coming out as gay, then queer, then non-binary, then trans. And I think it was just a bit of a shock. So I tell my dad and he goes, well, I would love to see you get a woman pregnant. And I said, oh, no, 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 she would be getting me pregnant. And then he said, what, do you have a vagina now? And I said, never say never. And then I tell my mom and she goes, I would just love to see you own property one day. And in California, that's sort of, you know, a, a parent's dream. It's not having kids or getting married. It's, it's, are you able to own a house? Um, wouldn't that be nice? Um, leftist gender ideology says that you have an inborn genetic identity that is immutable. Right? It's your gender. But it changes every 30 seconds from gay to trans to non-binary to agender to pansexual to bisexual to likes to shoot up trees to here's a chicken to maybe I'll have a vagina one. By, by the way, your dad happens to be correct, dude. This aggression will not stand, man. Like when your dad says you can't get pregnant, there are a few operative things you're missing. A vagina is only one of them. I love how this guy comes back around to the fact that he's just a straight dude and he can't handle it. So he has to find some other way of saying, I'm just a straight dude. No, don't worry. I'm pansexual. Maybe I'll get... Oh, the desire for attention. I have a question. Whose aspirations for a healthy life sound more fulfilling? Mom and dad's aspirations? Get married, have kids, buy a house? Or this guy change my self-identification every 37 seconds and then stare sweatily into a TikTok camera for the applause of a bunch of trained SEAL idiots. Nothing like them other motherfuckers I can make you rich. Mama, I can't say that, girl. Don't tell me you can say that. Why? 
Okay, so here a few a few things. On an objective level, this is horrifying. That is the scariest fucking thing I have ever seen in my entire life. That is terrifying and terrible, and I feel terrible for people that they have permanently scarred and marred their bodies, their teeth even, because of our society's willingness to pretend that this is in any way healthy and fulfilling behavior for human beings. These are demons. When you get rid of all standards of behavior for human beings, you end up with stuff like this. Do you think this person is likely to end up happier than they would have if they stayed before they listened to, to Lil Peep? What do you think? Mm. So guys, I met a TikToker and a lot of you guys are saying that she looks like me or something and she makes music, so I thought I would teach her how to howl. Hi guys. Hi. Do you know how to howl at all? Like, have you ever howled before? I've, I've howled occasionally. Okay. Show me your best howl. Okay. <clears throat> um, that was something. You're doing it a little better, yeah. Okay, okay. Do you want to wrench? Yes. <laughs> people thought that one of those people looked like the other one of those people? <laughs> I do that. Are, are those people clinically blind? So it's real cute when your four-year-olds and five-year-olds pretend to be dogs and cats and animals. It's way less cute when you're 30 and this is what you do. You spend your mornings working at a minimum wage job that you can only get because you've decided to act like this. And then you spend your afternoons off the side of a road howling with randos. We are creating full-fledged healthy adults here. Uh-oh, okay. Okay, now listen, Peter. Let's say for the sake of the argument, the with great power comes great responsibility. This means that as your strength increases, so does your obligation to perform good deeds. For example, as editor and founder of the universally loved and never biased Daily Wire, sponsored by ExpressVPN, it is my duty to destroy the nasty, nasty woke left and to dismantle their arguments using facts and logic, all while reminding everyone that my wife, your AMA, is a fact doctor. Not bad. Not bad, TikTok Uncle Ben Shapiro. He is correct. This video is, in fact, sponsored by ExpressVPN. I mean, what if there was somebody out there every single day watching every single thing that you did, trying to monitor every single thing that you did? I wouldn't want that guy having my internet data, and that is why I use ExpressVPN. VPN. See, here is the thing. Your ISP is allowed to store logs of every website you've ever visited and legally sell that data to anyone. You don't want them monitoring your online activity. ExpressVPN reroutes your internet connection through their secure servers so your internet provider cannot see or log what you do online. Now, many of you might be thinking, well, if I'm routing all my data through a VPN, doesn't that just mean the VPN can see what I'm doing and log my data instead? Ah, oh, you're very clever. ExpressVPN is the only VPN I trust because they were the first major VPN provider to engineer all of their VPN servers to run in RAM. That makes it impossible for their VPN servers to store any data, including logs, of any ExpressVPN customer. Here's the thing about ExpressVPN, it is super easy to use. So for example, I take out my phone, doink, I hit the ExpressVPN app, it comes up right now. It says I am not connected, but behold, and now the angels sing, for my internet activity is protected. It's no wonder CNET and Wired named ExpressVPN the number one VPN in the world. Stop letting people keep logs of what you do online. Visit expressvpn.com slash benyt right now. Find out how you can get three months for free. My pronouns are a little bit too complicated to fit in my bio, so I was just going to leave them out, but I've decided to make a video oh, good. about it. Pronouns that I use are they, them, she, her, and clown, clown self. Well, I'm, okay. I prefer a mixture of those, um, but I do know that some people have a really hard time mixing different pronouns together. And if that is something you really struggle with, I would prefer that you not exclusively use she, her. If you're only going to use one pronoun set for me, use they, them, or clown, clown self. I don't want to be called she, her alone. However, I really prefer a mixture of all three. And please do not use he, him pronouns for me. Oh, God forbid. Ever. I don't like them. They mm. make me dysphoric. Uh, this is the only time in human history where I will acquiesce to using someone's preferred pronouns. This person indeed deserves to be called by clown, clown self. That is an accurate description. Oh, no, not these people. My name's Nicole, and I'm a doctor for kids, and I help parents not put their lids. Woo! I'm Dr. Todd, 
I know the tricks to keeping kids from getting sick. Woo oh my God, Todd, I, what are we gonna do? It's like, people just don't believe us anymore. I know, I know, Nicole. What if we created the perfect cheer? Girl talk about vaccines. It's me. It's me. Who's that girl talking about vaccines? It's me. It's me. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. C O V I D. COVID. You can take a knee. I like the Todd over here. Can't even do the chat. He just keeps screwing it up every five seconds. C O V I D. COVID. It's pretty great. Like she's very into it, and he's into it, but mainly because she told him to be into it. So your idea is that I must vaccinate my small child based on your cheer? Like you keep saying science, so show me science because I don't see science in that video. How about if you provided me some data? Numbers, numbers, numbers. Or is that beneath you? Hmm. So I'm not allowed to be out as trans non-binary at school. Do not come up in my comments saying that I am allowed because I'm not. I live in Louisiana and it sucks here. So, of course, my response to this is to be as obnoxiously queer as possible. So I've got my rainbow hair with leopard print. I've got my rainbow glasses. Sometimes I wear pins, too, with various rainbow things on them. I don't have any today. I just have my COVID sticker. I wear things that do not match at all. Basically, my goal is to look like a unicorn threw me up. If I can't do that, what's the point? But the best part about all of this is that all of my coworkers are like, oh my gosh, you're so hip and you're so cool and the kids love you. I'm like, no, I'm not hip or cool. I'm just queer as hell and y'all are boring. This is a deeply unhappy human. I just want to go through a few of the things about this video. One, she can't come out to her students at school, but she can dress like a queer unicorn at the school. So I feel like the school is a little inconsistent in their application of their rules. Also, why would her fellow teachers think that she was cool and hip? Because I'm not getting cool and hip from this, this vibe. I mean, call me an old fuddy-duddy. Did anyone ever tell you you're kind of a sexy fuddy-duddy? But it does, in fact, look like a unicorn threw this person up. <laughs> By the way, there is a cadre of social justice activists whose sole goal is to get into schools and then indoctrinate your kids with this kind of crap. That's like their only goal in life. They're all over TikTok. So make sure, if you're hiring for a school, make sure to check people's TikToks before you hire them. Make sure to check people's Facebooks before you hire them. Make sure to check their social media to make sure you're not hiring some sort of social justice nut who's going to indoctrinate your kids into insane, stupid crap. Secret Service team, the Eagle has landed and is making his way down the helicopter stairs. We know his history with stairs, and this could be a disaster. Stand by. Eagle has made it down the stairs. He was a little wobbly at the end, but he made it. Eagle appears to be very disoriented today. We're going to need to do like last time and point out exactly where we need him to go. Secret Service team, prepare a point. Hold that point. Perfect. No way he could miss that. Eagle will be turning in five, four, three, two. He missed his mark. He missed his mark. Eagle is wandering. All units be advised. We are going to need a pretty lady or small child of some sort with nice smelling hair to get the eagle back on track. And we've lost visual. <laughs> okay, I guess I see why people watch TikTok. That's funny. <laughs> you know, every time I do one of these woke TikTok reacts videos, I think there can't be much more of this. But then a new tsunami of crazy is unleashed and my producer's agglomerate all of it for my viewing displeasure. If you wish to see this continue, please leave a comment below and subscribe. If not, please put me out of my misery. Kill me! Kill me!